Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, next day or two. So let's just see what comes up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what I do, if you're interested. Kangaroo, unsettled times, a need to plan ahead. Now that's the truth, isn't it? It is. Make sure that you are planning for the future. Make sure that you are planning for unsettled times. Make sure that you have plenty, you know, in case something goes awry, right? Or in case something gets shut down or gets all bought out or make sure you have all the necessities. Get prepared. Whether you have to bank extra money or get extra food or... I don't know, get some added security. Think about it. Now is time to be get yourself prepared. This is a time of preparation. It's kind of like a plan and, and, and getting a plan. Have a plan. It's kind of like an escape plan, right? Or a disaster plan. Or Be prepared. Think about what you need to be prepared for. You know. Butterfly, a change for the better. Now, butterflies are symbols of transformation and change. <clears throat> so there is a change that is coming. Be prepared for it. It appears that this is a change for the better, but you need to be prepared for the change, okay? Usually things, I gotta be honest, get worse before they get better. I mean, that's a sad reality, right? But we do have a change for the better. It's a time of transition and transformation, and usually that's not easy. It's kind of like the tower, right? Where, you know, things fall apart, old structures fall away, which force us to build something stronger. So that's what's happening by the looks of things. Three cards. Ooh. Two of Swords Reverse. Now, Two of Swords Reverse is opening up, perhaps. Maybe a blockage being removed. Maybe there's been some denial, coming out of denial, making a choice, making a decision. Perhaps there's been some sort of extreme blockages that are that have been caused by not wanting to see something or denial. But this can be exposure. Something being exposed, lies being exposed, truths being exposed, decisions being made. Now, twos are a number of change. So, yes, there's changes that are coming. Doors will be opening. This is actually very good news, okay? This is foundations. This is happiness. This is get-togethers. It's celebrations. It's contentment. This could be a party. I mean, this looks like it's some sort of engagement. There's this is some sort of celebration. Security. Home. 
making a decision. It has to do with your home, your security, your commitments, perhaps. I got to tell you, something really positive is happening. It really is. This is definitely a change for the better. This is the wheel of fate that is spinning. This is a new direction. This is good news. This is a faded event. Now, there may be an event here. This could be a faded event, okay? There's a new door that is opening. This is literally a new door. And this is a positive change. It's something positive happening. It's the end of a cycle, okay? The end of a chapter, 10. It's a completion. This is a major completion of a cycle, I would say get prepared for things to change and shift. There is definitely a shift. There may even be some sort of congratulations here with that four of wands. You know, once you open up to things, things change. If you restrict yourself or you hold on to resentment or you let fear hold you back, nothing changes. <sighs> wow. Three of Cups. This is a celebration. Again, a get together. This is joy, happiness, something to celebrate. Getting together, socializing, maybe dating, having fun, getting together with friends. This is like a toast. There's a celebration or a get together here. Whatever is happening, it's meant to happen. It's faded. This is, I feel like there's a blessing, honestly. Ooh, two threes. Threes of your prayers have been heard. Anyhow, this is a group event, perhaps, or a get-together. It's working together as a team, being appreciated. It's a time of growth. We have new developments here and changes, definite decisions being made about happiness in groups and community and who you're working with, who you're collaborating with. Whatever this is, it feels very, very, very positive. This could be a new group, could be a new job, a new security, new friends. Could also be getting together with friends, celebrating, communicating, compromising, working together. There is an opening here with that Two of Swords reversed, and there's happiness. I gotta tell you, if your uh, things are unsettled, get prepared because a change is coming, and I feel like this is a positive change. Maybe it has a change. It's changed with your security or your foundation or your commitment. There's been some sort of denial or blockage, but I feel like the blockage is either dissipating or being removed. This is a positive, positive change. It's time to celebrate. Hmm. There could definitely be an upcoming get together. Whatever is happening and there is something happening, it is positive. This is good news. Six of Swords, this is getting to a better place, going to a better place, moving on from a stressful situation, a rough situation. It's leaving, you know, the strife and the tension and the competition and the fighting behind. This is definitely a time of transition. The end of a cycle, the end of some sort of blockage that has been in the way. 
Now, the Six of Swords is going to a better place, moving to a better place. My cat is under there again, so if you hear, that's what's going on. It is, uh, this is it. This is a, t a time of movement and there, and things could change. I gotta say, co constant motion, constantly changing, constantly changing. But this is really positive, spinning in a direction, spinning you. That's the wheel of fate, spinning you. Bella! Spinning you in a direction where there's less strife. Bella! Bella! She's snoring. Knight of Wands reverse. Now the Knight of Wands reverse can be somebody that is loud, obnoxious, um, all over the place. There could be a sudden departure. There could be a sudden arrival. This could be extremely sudden. A door is opening. I would say get ready because things can probably change. I feel like pretty fast. Extremely fast. But then again, the Knight of Wands in reverse is somebody that flies by the seat of their pants, right? And can be very boastful and loud and obnoxious it could be somebody like it's crashing the party right this could be somebody that is having an outburst or something like that and i you know be careful be careful you could have somebody here that's doing something impulsive that's the knight of wands reverse it's impulsive behavior it could be inappropriate behavior there may be a need to slow down go slow go slow which is interesting We may have somebody here that's very spiteful, very resentful here as well. That I mean, the, the Knight of Wands reversed next to the Two of Swords. We may have somebody here that is acting out. They could, so keep that in mind. There could be somebody here that is doing something without thinking, maybe to block somebody's happiness or stop them from getting some sort of recognition or power. I gotta say that because that's what came to me. There could be some fear as well with the Knight of Wands, but next to the Two of Swords. We may have somebody here that has been very afraid of commitment or very afraid to socialize or very afraid of change, you know? Mm. Change for the better. One more. Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse is somebody that's emotionally withdrawn, right? Um, this can be somebody that sweeps problems under the rug, right? Wears rose colored glasses, um, doesn't accept re reality, doesn't accept responsibility either. Could be even um, very cold, uncaring, lacks compassion, um, empty. May say all the right words, but it's just some sort of an illusion. So just be careful. I mean, we have the Knight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed. This is somebody that may be doing something um, without thinking, acting on emotions. Somebody could be acting on emotions, just saying. They may be reacting emotionally. I mean, we are still in cancer season. And this can be, I mean, literally reacting impulsively and emotionally, you know, uh, doing something maybe gold, just saying, so keep that in mind. There could be, a, we may even have some commitment issues here. We may even have like a commitment phobic. This is underneath the Four of Wands. Maybe we have somebody who's afraid to express feelings or afraid of love or afraid to um, Well, this is somebody who may not listen to their intuition as well not very intuitive very much focused on social pressure 
We may also have somebody here that is sending out insults to uh, instill fear or to instill self-confidence issues. So keep that in mind. Bella! Knight of Cups reversed is, is a smiling liar. And the Knight of Wands reverse is somebody that acts impulsively, that can be obnoxious, loud, and boastful. And the Knight of Cups is somebody that's not emotionally available, unavail that is not emotionally available. This is somebody that you know doesn't really have anything to offer, but is a very smooth talker. This could be like a love bomber, right? Says all the right words, but doesn't have any follow through. I mean, there's no follow through here. Doesn't follow through with with anything. But there could just be fear of commitment or fear of falling in love or fear of expressing emotions, fear of opening up, right? We may also have somebody here that is acting on their feelings because they're they, they're full of resentment. There could because that two of swords reverse can be resentment. But we have a change here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. It's moving away from a passionless, loveless situation, period. The end of a cycle. Maybe it's unrequited love. I mean, just saying that Wheel of Fortune is kitty corner to the page of cup or knight of cups reversed something is happening and we have moving to a better place six of cups reversed nothing stays the same this could literally be packing up and leaving home nothing stays the same Maybe somebody's been clinging to something in the past, clinging to the past, clinging to the memories. You know, there's always memories, but clinging to the past isn't healthy. And it could definitely be an emotional time. And there could be an emotional departure. There could. There could be freedom from obligation here. Somebody could be leaving the home. Moving. And there's moving here. Moving out of a situation that they have been clinging to. Maybe for attention. Feels like we have moving home. The end of a cycle where there's a lack of love and passion and fertility moving towards something better. This is very positive. It's in leaving the past hurt behind. Seriously, leaving the past behind, leaving the past behind. change for the better the end of a cycle of not being cared for not being taken care of Anyhow, we do have an upcoming get-together. We have an upcoming celebration. It's time to celebrate, socialize, um, get together, have fun. Good luck.